Welcome back to Underwater Math. My name is Earl and today you will be learning about prime and composite numbers. Okay, now, judging by my face and their names, you may think prime and composite numbers are scary and hard. But in fact, once you understand the difference, they can be quite simple. I have my friend Gil here today and we are going to help you learn. Hi, let's get started. Prime numbers are whole numbers that only have two factors, itself and the number one. Remember what a factor is? A factor is a number that you multiply with another number to get a product. A product is the solution to a multiplication problem. Prime numbers are also only divisible by one and the number itself. An example of a prime number is three. The only way to make three through multiplication is one times three. Three is also only divisible by one and itself. So, 1 and 3 are the only factors of 3 and since there are only two factors, 3 is a prime number. Composite numbers, on the other fin, I mean hand, are whole numbers with more than two factors. For example, the number 8 is a composite number because it has more than two factors 1, 2, 4, and 8. You can make 8 by multiplying 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. Composite numbers are also numbers that are divisible by more than two numbers. The number 8 is also divisible by 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, let's review. Earl, why is knowing whether a number is prime or composite important? Knowing and understanding prime and composite numbers will help you tackle fractions, factoring, and equations. Your turn. What about the number 12? Is it prime or composite? Well, let's see. I know 1 times 12 equals 12. I know 2 times 6 equals 12, and that's already 4 factors. And lastly, I know that 3 times 4 is 12. So that's 6 factors, way more than 2, so the number 12 is composite. Your turn, Earl, is 17 a prime or composite number? 17. I know 1 times 17 is 17. So that's 2 factors. Is 17 divisible by anything? 2, no. 3, no. 4. No. Okay, since there are only two factors, one and itself, 17 is a prime number. Great job. That's a wrap. Thanks for reviewing prime and composite numbers with us today. Keep practicing.